In today's video, we are going to war in this Daihatsu walkthrough. G'day everyone, this is Daniel O'Grady and thank you very much for joining me for another Wasabi Cars video. I hope you're doing well and I've got a real change of pace for you today. Let's check it out, it's rather brick-like. Now this rocked up to a car show in Fukuoka City a couple of years back. It was, now I forget the name, but it was a American car culture event. But uh, I guess this person was here as a spectator, which is, uh, you know, they're allowed to do. But uh, it's a car that I've seen once and never again, and I've never seen another Daihatsu Mira walkthrough van with the Hummer-inspired front. I have seen a walkthrough with a couple of different fronts. Check out this. That's obviously a mini front, and I saw that up the road. And it sort of just sits there, I don't know what the deal is, sort of a promotion vehicle. But again, it just sort of sits there and it's done that for years and years. Now let's bring it on back to the Hummer faced walkthrough van. Now there's something about this car that makes me want to bust out the memes. Now I've tried my hand at writing memes before and you know, it's very hit and miss, mostly miss. But here is a couple I've worked on. Kicking ass, taking names and delivering laundry. Join the Vanguard, they said. Undercover Hummer. Golf cart. Now, if I was a younger person, I'd probably use the phrase kawaii and on point or something like that, but I'm going to leave that to you. In fact, if you have something witty you want to say about this car, let me know in the comments below as well. And um, one thing that is just working so well for this car is, uh, well, the color, sort of the matte, sandy sort of a color, and the patina dusty, a little bit grotty. You can see there's a little bit of rust coming through. Um, I don't know if that's going to be good in the long term, but uh, at the moment it sort of looks pretty good. And there's a marking on the side of the car, which I don't know. It's sort of got that crate sort of uh, stencil sort of thing going on, but that's very interesting. Now what's that up there? Is that a camera? Above the rear door, that's interesting. I just noticed that this second. And you can see that the rear door sort of folds up into three panels. And do I have any footage of inside the car? I'm not even sure. Now, is that steering wheel a Mitsubishi item? That's odd. And I see the panel of the door is white. Bit of scribble there too. Pretty busy. There's a Coke bottle strategically placed right up there. That's interesting. I'm thinking that's for style more than anything else. Okay, it's time for me to shoot through, but please leave any comments below. Also, uh, if you want to suggest a car you would like to see, and uh, please be aware that I'm probably going to say I've seen one or none of it, because in Japan, older cars are actually rare, which is odd. But thank you so much for watching, take it easy, and goodbye. With a little bit of rust and a little bit of dirt, wasabi cows and a little bit of wasabi.